Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are back with another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you missed the last... <laughs> wow, Henry. If you missed the last episode, or you are just wanting to be reminded of what's going on, then, um, well, the last episode, we... Well, a number of things happened in the last episode, but most importantly, most crucially, we went back to Merhoyed and we interrogated the the guy the um the, the guy that they had caught there uh, because we finally were granted access to that dude and um you know honestly um we didn't get a, we didn't get a ton of of like exact information out of him basically we found out that uh, the guy that is uh, um like, I guess you'd say most, most important or whatever. Let's go ahead and start traveling here. I, I do want, we want to go uh, report to uh, Sir Radzig here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Um, can I, can we, uh, I guess we're going to have to fast travel to Merhoyed. So back to Merhoyed. Um, Cause I do think that that's what we want to do. Let's go ahead and check our um, nutrition and whatnot first. Yeah, we should be fine there. Uh, and what time of day is it? Mm, that's a little sketchy, but we should be able to rest once we get there if we do. Um, so we didn't get a whole bunch of really exact information out of him. Um, and guys, I, I confess it's actually been quite a while since I have played. Um, you know, oftentimes if I get a lot of time to play, I'll, I'll you know, I'll do that. Um, so I got a whole bunch. I had a bunch of episodes banked up, but anyway. Uh, I digress. So we found out that the guy who's, you know, at the top of the food chain really is, you know, probably a noble, uh, most likely a noble, but the guy didn't really know a whole lot of details about him. Um, and, and, um, and furthermore is not, uh, check. Oh goodness. Goodness. Um, also, Let's have a look at our nourishment now. Still fine. Um, and uh, we're going towards point A. Uh, also, that a couple of other guys um, are are you know are are most um, are our next uh, next closest leads in this uh, counterfeiting case. Uh, and there's one guy, and I can't remember his name. Was I, something, I think it's something with an M. Something with an M. Guys, and, and if you've been watching this, then you know how terrible I am with names. If you've been watching anything that I do, then you know how terrible I am with names. Um, I think that the, he gave us two names. One of the guy's names, I do remember, his name was Moorcock. And, um, you know, that's actually either a fortunate name or an unfortunate name, depending on how you look at it. But, um, and, um... And then the other guy's name, I think, also started with an M. It might have been like a Mervin or something like that. And, uh, you know, once again, either a fortunate name or an unfortunate name, depending on how you look at it. But, um, I, um, I, you know, honestly, I can't remember either of their names. But the, but that second guy, I think it was the second guy. Honestly, I don't think I need to remember, <laughs> I don't think I need to remember their names, although, you know, I'm going to regret it if I do. Um, I think, I think that guy was going to be meeting him, you know, soon, at least in Ravna, which I was actually looking at the map as this started. And you can see what, what's interesting is there's like these little, I don't know, you'd say like a content face or something like that, uh, uh, next to each of these towns, like Samopesh has one, Merhoyed has one, Tallenberg has one, Ujits has one, Pribislavitz, but for some reason, Ravna has one of these other faces. Look at that. What's the what's the deal with the different face? It's like these faces are round, and this face is not round. No, I don't know. I can't do a Seinfeld joke about that, guys. Uh, anyway. So what we're going to do is go up to Sir Radzig and, uh, and, you know, report to him. Tell him what's going on. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Um, you know, I don't know. About the danger on the roads. Okay, so this is apparently a DLC quest 
um, you know, we could we could get into that, but um, guys, I, uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, it would be it would be good to do that, but how about we how about we do this one first? How about we do kind of continue on on this, and then we maybe do that uh, soon? Um, you know, I have been kind of uh, on a on a mission here um, because. I don't know. It seems like, it, it seems like, um, well, we can talk about that maybe, maybe in a bit. If I, if I get back to it, if, if my, if my mind doesn't, uh, completely wander and forget about what I was just talking about. But anyway, let's, let's, let's keep focused on, uh, Mayor Hoyed here. Cause, cause, uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm interested in. I've returned from Mayor Hoyed, sir. How does it look there? Like hell. I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skullitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. That was it. Him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. God be with you. That doesn't sound good, guys. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again, and we must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? Oh, I thought I was going to Ravna. I missed something. Good luck, son. And, uh, um, just to kind of weigh on, uh, weigh in on, um, on, um, uh, what Radzig was saying there. I do think that, uh, I think that Radzig hit on something that was very, very, um, 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 I don't know. I would say I would say poignant there. I do think that I do think that there is something to be said about uh, trial and and tribulation, so to speak. You know, um, overcoming overcoming adversity or 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 shouldering a burden, uh, as it were, has something to do with um, I don't know um, I don't know refining uh, refining oneself. I mean, if you never really have anything to um, I don't know if you never have any, uh, anything difficult or difficult, uh, you know, uh, uh, anything to overcome it, it really, um, um, I don't know that those, those are the moments I think that, uh, that end up giving you character, but I, I don't know if that is really the, the answer that I would give to, to Henry's question. Ooh, I'm going to nail, I'm going to nail this rabbit, this wascally wabbit. Guys, I just have to take the pot shots at the rabbits. 
Oh man, that was horrible. Um. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, okay, that's just embarrassing. But I, I tend to think I tend to think it's more um, along the lines um, of of um, uh, of uh, free will. I mean, you know, if it, when you when you have um, uh, when you when you have the existence of free will, you know, assuming that we do, you know, assuming that, um, you know, in the, uh, in the, you know, regardless of what, uh, you know, regardless of what you believe, if we're just, you know, for the, for argument's sake here, for argument's sake, guys, uh, if we are to assume, uh, that there is, uh, that there is a creator and if that creator has given us uh, free will. Let, let's go. Let's, where, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to Ravna, right? Yeah, we're going to Ravna and I'm just going to fast travel there guys. Cause I, cause I don't like, uh, I don't like, uh, not fast traveling. Uh, so if we're going to assume that, uh, the creator has given us free will, then obviously we are, uh, free, you know, <laughs> to do, <laughs> to do crappy things. Uh, you know, cause you're not free if, uh, if the only thing that you, uh, uh, can do is not crappy things. Um, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, you're free. You're you're free insofar as you only do what it is that I want you to do. Um, you know, uh, I mean, that would be <laughs> that would be. Um, you know, I'm actually not okay. Oh yeah, let's keep let's keep following A here, and that's probably gonna that's probably gonna be um, that's probably gonna be our. But I mean, I I think I mean, guys, and, and I don't know. Obviously, that's not a full that's not a full answer to the question. But I think that that gets a little bit more directly directly to what Henry was talking about. Why did I get off my horse? I just kind of assumed that this house was what's going on here. No, it's way up here. It's way up here. Let's get back on our horse. Um, but that gets a little bit more directly to what Henry was talking about. Like, why do all these crappy things happen? Um, uh, but not like, well, you know, hey, can I use these as like a character building exercise? That's like a... Oh, guys. Good yeah. God, what bloody mess. yeah, we've definitely got something here. Uh, lockpick very hard. Yeah, that dog ain't gonna hunt. We can't do that. We don't have that skill. Yeah, we don't have the skill for that. Not gonna work. Uh, loot. Okay, well, we can try to loot this. Uh, fashionable. Well, that's actually pretty expensive, guys. Um. Uh, that guy doesn't have anything very expensive. Uh, examine. Looks like that wagon was loaded with charcoal. Um, well, we got, uh, we got some blood. Was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. Follow the trail of blood from the ambushed wagon. Uh, we've got some charcoal. I don't need charcoal, guys. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Um, I mean, is it just going to be along the, yeah, it looks like it's just going to be along this trail, guys. Oh, and charcoal, and we got charcoal burners, so. Guys, it's almost like, it's almost like they're trying to tell us something here. It's all. Someone must have seen or heard something. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a feeling, guys. I've got a feeling. Ooh, nourishment. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and help ourselves. Help ourselves. Um, to the pot here. <laughs> Henry, I'm sorry to keep uh, keep giving you a scare there. Uh, anyway, my good sir, my good sir. Hmm. Would you care to? With you. And also with you. What happened at the crossroads? What happened at the crossroads? What? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, it isn't hard to guess what happened um i've come to help him 
uh yeah let's use my let's use my um my speech my my natural my natural um affinity with the common folk listen there's corpses lying on the road out there a ransacked wagon and a trail that leads right here now you seem to be honest and friendly folk not marauding cutthroats so i prefer to believe you don't have anything to do with it but but yeah if you don't start helping me i might change my mind I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, tell me who this Boya Boya guy is. Who is this Boya? Boya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. Now, um, this is something that I'm I'm fairly certain that I mentioned earlier, guys, and uh, you know maybe I didn't, and I'm, uh, hopefully I can do. Hopefully I can uh, wax lyrical about it. And whoa, I thought I I thought I heard someone yell, and then I saw those deer. So that I must not have must must have been just hearing things. Hopefully I can wax lyrical about it very very quickly. I really wish. And I think it would have been cool. And, and, I, and I was, it was another thing that I was thinking about in that Radzig scene. It just, it just kind of made me, kind of made me think about it, guys. I think, you know, just thinking this morning, for some reason, I'm very reflective, very, very reflective this morning. Um, oh gosh, it's kind of late. You know what? We should have rested before we came here. Cause now we're going to get stuck out in the, uh, in the wilderness with our freaking um, um, with our freaking uh, 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 politically correct, uh, uh, insert politically correct euphemism uh, in our hands here, and and um, and then, you know, and then what are we gonna do? Then what are we gonna do? Walk around all night, you know, with um, with our torches, you know? Yeah, it's not gonna be very nice. But anyway, what I was trying to think, <laughs> or what I was thinking of, you know, uh, when we went into that big uh, battle, you know, with Runt's encampment. You know, Sir Radzig put on like, you know, this bigger, uh, you know, he put on like a plate vest like this, like, um, like one of these plates and he had like a massive helmet and he had, um, you know, uh, um, steel, gr uh, gloves on and he, he, he had much more involved armor than he's just wearing around whenever we, whenever we see him. Cause he's wearing basically like leather armor, leather gloves, um, you know, s comfortable stuff. I really wish that they had in this, I mean, I think it would be really neat if they had like, you know, think of uh, Diablo 2 or if you've ever played uh, Path of Exile or something like that. Uh, I haven't played the newer Diablos, but it's probably um, the same thing in that where you've got like an alternate weapon slot. I, re I really wish that they had incorporated it into this because like if you wore this around everywhere, like it's probably very taxing on you to wear this like if if like your if your total if like your total stamina went down you know like for every hour you wore like all of this like like the each piece of like heavy armor like had a maximum like uh, a stamina drain per hour or something like that uh, i don't know just like a number of penalties that were applied to you for having all this armor on. So you had like your, your, your battle armor that was stored on your horse or something like that. And then you had like, you're just walking around armor. And I think that that would, that would help with a couple of things. One, I think it would help from a role play perspective, but it would also help make like the, some of your like a uh, bandit encounters along the road, a little bit more exciting. Cause you're not just going to be like, traveling along the road in your full kit you know um so when you get attacked you're going to be in you know your lighter stuff you know like your leather light armor uh and you're not going to have like your full plate on so i mean i think that that would be a really really cool addition and and i don't think that that's gonna that's one of those like superfluous details that's like well do, i mean they don't really need to do that i mean i think that that would be that would be one of those details that i actually think Hey, you know, they probably, they probably should have thought about doing something like that. Cause I mean, clearly, clearly they, they kind of did think about that kind of detail because they, they incorporated that on, they incorporated that detail on other characters, you know, it's just, okay. Where's this guy? Where's this Borea guy? 
Oh, he's asleep, dude. Sorry, sorry to wake you. Oh, screw this, guys. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna see see if we can pill for ourselves a bed out here in the wilderness. Uh, Rob, we're gonna steal that guy's little uh, towel there. Uh, let's see if we can find uh, lockpick hard, lockpick very hard. Yeah, let's see if we can get ourselves into one of these. I, I don't think I can. Do, I might be able to do a lockpick hard. But let's see if they've got, um, ooh, okay, so I'm just going to sleep right next to this dude and, uh, and then call it a, call it an evening and then we'll talk to these guys in the morning. Um, yeah, that's how I, that's how I roll dudes. Hopefully he's going to wake up at six. <laughs> this guy's going to wake up and be like, who the hell are you? I will take kindly to someone just bunking up next to me. But I mean, unless he murders me in my sleep, I don't think we have anything to worry about from this guy. Of course, that said, we, we are at least a little bit suspicious of these guys. Well, okay, well, we woke up before him, so... He's none the wiser. He's none the wiser. He's not like, uh, not like the Miller who just decides to randomly wake you up in the middle of the night. Okay, where is this dude? Is he still over here? Aha, here we go, dude. He's an early riser. He just sleeps out. Good day to you. He sleeps outside. Okay, the ambush wagon. Boria, you better talk. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Okay. Yeah, we're not going down this road again, yes. dude. Is that a problem? Dude, look at me and 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 ask me that question again. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and. Do you know whose wagon it was? Yeah, we're gonna just act like he didn't even give me that crap. Um, dude, I'm I'm surprised. This guy's a 13 on the old um, crossed swords over there. Look at him. He's just got a shirt on, and I'm like fully kitted out here. This guy's not screwing around. <laughs> How much do you want? Yeah, I'm not paying this guy. I'm not paying any of these people. It's ridiculous. I mean, once again, this dude's just a charcoal burner. And I'm I'm like uh, Sir, Radzig, uh, Sir Radzig's envoy here. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, use my little uh, plus three modifier here. Do you have any idea whose wagon it was? I don't know. And I don't care. Oh, dude, I'll screw you. you. I'm sure you've heard of the gang that burned down Neuhof. Possibly. And poison the well in Merhoyed. They're the kind of men you don't want to get on the wrong side of. I didn't get on the wrong side of them, though. Did I? The opposite. Actually, we helped them out. And I didn't even know who they were. What happened? Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads, then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Yeah, apparently, with a, with a blood trail uh, a couple of hundred yards long, um, yeah, he must be... Uh... He must really be wanting to hang on. Okay, who ambushed the wagon? Um, well, I mean, if they... Unless that guy told him, because he said they just found it. But uh, we can go ahead and ask anyway. Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. Um, did he say anything? Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Jeez. I want to talk to him. <laughs> it's like, he's like, talking is, is literally physically a problem for this guy. Well, I want to talk to him. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to make him talk. Where is he? We've locked him away in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He, he paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. I don't mean to hurt him. So be it. 
Here. Take the key. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Farewell. <laughs> what the? Oh my goodness, guy. Okay, hold on a second. What's my nourishment again? Ooh, 75. So I could ch uh, chow down on this. Get back up to 100. Although 100 is not... I think 100 is not overeating, right? I'm hoping so, guys. Because I don't want to get rid of my uh, buff there. What? Did Boria just change? Boria just... He just pulled a quick change on me, man. He needs to... Uh, um, uh, what, um, what is that? Magicians have that, uh, um, aren't there like quick change magicians? Isn't that like a, a, a special kind of act? You know, like they're like, you know, the card tricks and ring tricks and okay. Okay. I'm going to stop. Who are you? That's none of your damn business. Okay. Talk and you'll live. I'm here to help you. We'll start with, I'm here to help you. Never mind that. I've come to help you. Plus, I'm not going to promise this guy he's going to live. I breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, oh, well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, I'm super excited to be talking to another guy who's who's uh, on death's door. Or actually, so it sounds like this guy is this guy is probably dying, and then the other guy was on the mend. But it doesn't change the fact that both of them are still having belabored speech. And and uh, I, I I I remember uh, mentioning in that other one, I found it to be very <sighs> taxing conversation because I just I really guys I gotta admit I really don't like listening to them when they <laughs> when they, when they have so much trouble talking. Um, because it's just, I don't know. Um, I think it just, it, it's just unpleasant. It's just unpleasant for lack of a better word. Okay. So, uh, who are you, who are you working for? Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection, but that's all I know. Hmm. And where is this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Come on, dude. Fork over the clue. Okay, who ambushed the wagon? Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. Hmm... Okay, what was the wagon carrying? I'm assuming, I'm assuming counterfeit money. Although, for some reason, it looked like there was a bunch of charcoal there. That being said, why would there be a path of charcoal? Well, guys, I don't know. Let's just ask him. Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked men hot that. <coughs> Can I take a look at that wound? Um, I can't remember, guys, do, did we pick up the second level of first aid yet? I can't remember. Well, let's ask him more about the knight before we accidentally kill him. Tell me more about the knight. Oh, never mind. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. Uh-oh. I, I don't know about any coin. I swear. God damn it. Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him! That's got to be that knight! Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh -uh. Dude, let's jump him. Fuck! Stop! Stop right there! <laughs> oh, great. Where's my horse? Now, where's the dude? Um. Dude, where, where? Yeah. Okay. Guys. There he is. There he is. Let's get him. Let's get him, Pebbles. Um, uh, okay, he's not... He's not going too fast. If Pebbles can catch him... Then, then literally any horse can catch him. Because Pebbles, I mean, for all of Pebbles' virtues, 
which are none other than Pebbles is a horse. Um, yeah. Then, um, okay, Pebbles, Pebbles is not catching. Pebbles is not catching him. Although, that being said, guys, I did take that trait, which makes Pebbles slower. Wait, did he just turn? He just turned. Uh, Pebbles is uh, slower, sadly, and that's my that's my bad. That's my bad. I took that trait, and uh, you know we're paying for it. We're paying for it. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe I should. Perhaps I should not have taken that trait. Maybe he's gonna. Maybe he's going to um, trip over something and uh, make his horse lame. I don't know. Cause oh shoot! Sorry, Pebbles. Sorry, Pebbles. Stop. You can you can you can recharge your batteries. I don't want to I don't want him to throw me off. We're going to have to but but yeah, for real. That guy is outrunning the heck out of me here. Uh, he is he is uh, getting it done. Oh, now he's having to slow down. A no, is that even him? Oh yeah, that's him. I think not all of the uh, assets were loaded in there because he kind of looked like a peasant from a, from afar. Oh, oh, okay. We almost caught him, but now he's he's taking on guys. I don't know if I I literally don't know if we're gonna catch him. Maybe we can shoot his horse. Um. Maybe we can shoot at him, but we're gonna have to get closer because Okay, Pebbles, let's let's take a breather here. This is ridiculous, guys. We're just gonna yeah. This is ridiculous. I mean Okay. Like I, I guess there's just like if you if you take that if you take that uh, perk, then you are just screwed. Or we, we are, or we should have uh, bought a better horse, because we got the worst horse and we made him slower. I just didn't know we were going to get into a freaking horse race to, you know. Oh, we almost got to him. Okay, let's let's slow down here, and then we'll get our second wind. And then we should catch him. Then we should catch him, guys. Yeah. Then we should catch him, right, Pebbles? Maybe. I don't know, guys. So I feel like pulling out our bow makes us slower. I don't know. Or I don't even know if you can gallop with the bow. Out. I mean, I guess we can pull it out just to... We can just whip that crap out, find out what happens. Of course, my ability to hit him is just extremely dubious. But I think that we're just going to run around the entire world. Hey, we're getting close to him. Stop! Oh, man! Oh yeah, so I pressed I pressed the bow button. You can't do it while you're while you're um while you're So guys, I don't know. I think that I'm going to have to load the game, go buy a better horse and then re redo this. Yeah. I don't think I literally don't think that you can do this if you've got um your horse slowed down like this. I mean, we would totally be able to do it if we didn't have our horse slowed. But, um... But I, I have two things. I've got... The <laughs> yeah. it's, it's almost like they didn't play test that. It's almost like they didn't play to, or, or, you know, consider the fact that 
that might be something that would happen. Let's see. Maybe if we can... Okay. Let's see if I can cut across here and get in front of him. Uh, I mean, see, even that? Okay, nice. What? Pull, pull it out. Pull the sword out. Okay, guys, so it's been a while since I've had to fight. You dare to face me? Ah, uh, dear. Ah, uh, dear. Okay. Oh. oh! Oh, eat that, dude. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's he's got uh He's got the moves, guys. He's got the moves. I'll flay you. Okay. Well, we I mean, we can we can um we can uh parry him. Had enough, boy? I have not had enough. Oh. Okay. I'm still Still haven't Still having trouble getting the uh, combos off here. Ooh, got him with that one. He's not he's not too bad so far. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can Oh, 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 he's, he's got, he's, he's, he's not bad. He's not bad, but he's not, like, just wrecking our universe. Oh, that was a good, that was a palpable hit. That was a palpable one. Let's finish this quickly, boy. Oh. Oh gosh. Hoon's fart. Hoon's fart. Is that like is that a dog fart? <laughs> I mean, I'm just I don't know. I mean, uh I'm just wondering translation, guys. Anyone who knows German. Golly, he is really he's really getting me with those. Let's see if we can get a dodge off on him. Well, we got the dodge, but we didn't get the, um, we didn't get the hit. No, no. Once again, trying the- whoa! Yeah, he's- he's- he's pretty- he's pretty decent. Lost your wind, have you? He's pretty well, decent. Uh, it seems you have some skill. Kaka. Oh. Oh. He's surrendering. Okay, let's talk with him. Well. Give up the goods, dude. Who is that type? It seems I have finally met my match. You're superior, in fact. My goodness. Okay, man, guys, <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. Now, fortunately, we were able to finally, finally catch him just because there was a, a meadow and a freaking turn in the road. But, guys, I strongly recommend either buying a faster horse because, guys, I mean, we got pebbles. So we're, we're going to do that just in case we run into this situation again. Okay, mental note, mental note getting the perk that makes your horse slower and able to carry more not the best idea 
not the best idea if you're going to rock the slowest freaking horse in the game. <laughs> just not, just not great. Because, I mean, honestly, he was not a lot, he was not really faster than us even at that. So, I mean, it, it's not like that would have been very difficult to do if we had even probably our normal pebble speed, we would have been able to catch him. But they, I mean, that was just, <laughs> that just, that just kind of sucked. That kind of sucked. Okay, so you're superior, in fact. Uh, who are you and why are you here? Let's not just be stupid with this guy. I mean, he, he actually put up a pretty good fight. Uh, who are you and why are you here? I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulri. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. Mm -hmm. I am not a thief, dude. Um. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From who? Perhaps you might sheet that weapon so that we may talk eye to eye. If we do indeed have a common cause. I <laughs> kill him. Okay, fine. Get up, dude. Stand up. It is true I'll bite. has not begun well, but if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. Uh, who died? What do you need? What's in it for me? Uh, well, who died? What man was that? Mainhut. The merchant from Paso. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. Hmm. This is a little, this is a little fishy, guys. This is, I, I, this is, hmm. Now, now, the only thing, this guy doesn't really seem like a noble, Right, he doesn't talk uh, as the guy in uh, Merhoyed said, "quote all la di da," but he certainly is no check. Right, he is no check, uh, and he's really the only guy we've met apart from the uh, humans who is no check. So I don't know, guys. There's some. There is a something a little bit fishy about this encounter, uh, and of course, I think that that's kind of what we're meant to think. This is this is a little odd. So I don't know. I do not know. What do you mean? I'm no matchmaker. Let's let's find out what's going on here. Who do you mean? Master Tobias Faifa. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. <clears throat> what do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Faifa, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. Okay, so we got some documents. Okay, well, it's nice. At least we got another lead here. Um, okay, shouldn't you go with me? Well, he's going to Sasso. But we have to go back to... Retai, right? Isn't that where he's going to be? I'll head off to see the ambushed wagon, forge money. So we need to, yeah, shouldn't you come along with me? Um, yeah, let's, I guess let's just go down the list guys as per protocol, as per protocol.
Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasau. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. Okay. Who are you? What's your name, anyway? I told you. I am Ulrich. Just Von a... Lichtenstein. It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword, and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days. As I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. Okay. I don't think I'll get more out of you. Okay, all right, fine. All right then, Ulrich. Let's leave it at that. Um, who are you working for? Yeah, I don't think he's going to tell us that, but let's ask. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know, but this does not mean I am at liberty to tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to beat it out of you. That does, guys, it does sound fishy. This this whole situation is a little bit weird. That being said, he did give us those documents that does, uh, that at least hopefully is going to give us more information about the forging. So, you know, why would he do that if he's, you know, uh, one of the bad guys, which, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's some kind of a twist here that we don't know. So I'm not going to beat it out of you. I don't know. Very well. I shan't beat it out of you. Um, We just asked him that. We're not going to ask him that again. Forged money. Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know, Paso? Uh, pass out. Wait. Is that... Is that... That's not the monastery, is it? Is it? I think it is. I, th I think it is. I'm going to say... I'm going to say I don't know it, guys, just because I'm a little bit uncertain. No? What is it? A city in Bavaria. Okay, yeah, I definitely didn't. Paso is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen? Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The Paso Alderman began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They were bringing the forged coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the Paso Alderman, so they requested that he deal with the matter. And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. I wonder how common... Um... Uh, such a thing was at the time. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about um, casting and forging, uh, casting and forging, uh, forging in in both senses, like forging uh, metal, uh, but forging is in forging um, uh, uh, medieval currency. But um, but it seems like. It seems like with the available technology, um, it would be easier to do than, you know, forging current technologies, you know, because, uh, you know, once again, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about how they, how, how all the countermeasures on, on current, um, current, um, uh, notes and things like that work, but you'd think that they would be able to, um, you'd think that they would be able to, you know, make a, make a, um, a cast of it and then, and then, um, you know, I, I don't know how you make a mold of it or whatever. And then just, uh, you know, just pump them out, you know, with the, with the stuff. I mean, just ba basically do what they said they were doing and then just kind of coat them with silver. And that being said, uh, you know, I don't know how easy it would be for that to be discovered. I mean, I guess it's, uh, you know, a question of, I don't know, um, is, is copper and silver uh, of a similar weight? I don't know. Uh, and, and then how durable is the, um, is the silver, is the silver coating on that? 
once again, I, I don't know, like, you know, if it got scratched, of course, that would reveal uh, the copper underneath. Uh, and then that would, and then the jig would be up, so to speak. So, you know, I, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure of the intricacies or the quality, uh, of the, of the forgeries. So I don't know, guys, it, it seems, uh, it, it, I mean, it seems like, it, you know, on its face, it might be easier, but maybe I'm making, maybe I'm making light of it. Uh, let's ask about the wagon. And what about that wagon? What happened there exactly? I followed Menhard from Paso. I had reason to suspect the connection with Sasso. Paso, Sasso. Um, I'll see if there are any other Asshows. Uh, so the wagon was carrying false coins. Is that what? Is that what that um, um, bag that he was lugging contained? Um, I mean, was it like? Is it? Is it coins topped with? Um, charcoal because I mean if you recall when we started chasing him he asked he's like he was like hey dude give me that sack and then he put it on his horse uh, of course his horse you know fell right at the because so I guess we knocked his horse over um, but anyway uh, so the wagon was carrying false coins so they were transporting false groschen on that wagon yes on their way here they brought real coin groschen foreigns francs and the like but now, the eggs were full of counterfeits. Um, suspicion about Sasau. What do you mean about the connection with Sasau? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Paso scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Hmm. Why did you jump them here? And then, so, so this dude slaughtered everyone? I mean, dang. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek. I cannot guess why he came here, but it was the perfect opportunity to strike. Okay, tell me about the ambush. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two, but that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhart, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. Hmm. So we won't get anything out of him. Unfortunately not. Okay, yeah, that sucks. Okay, uh, what happened with Menhart? Okay, so we just know that. We just found that out. So uh, so I'm off. I'll head off to see Fayfar. Very well. I'll go and see Master Fayfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. Okay, guys. So let's let's take a quick look. Um, we can show. Hey, he's just dropped his stuff here. Um. Well, a robber baron's sword. Oh, we have to steal it. Um. Well, I'm still taking it, guys. Well, I don't know about the shield, but anyway. So let's take the let's have a look at the robber baron's sword. The robber baron's sword, not really that great um but it also it doesn't doesn't have the uh, steel icon and it also um it it sells for quite a bit um why is it why is it so expensive um anyway so what we need to do with our money here is buy a better horse. I think that's what we just learned. Uh, it's time to, uh, Pebbles. Um, sorry, buddy. Sorry. I've been, I've been bad mouthing you a little bit, but, but that being said, I think we just, just realized that, uh, or just found that, uh, Pebbles, uh, has, um, has, uh, kind of, kind of, um, 
you know, shown, uh, shown his age. Yeah. We chased, we chased this dude all the way from here down to here. Wow. <laughs> Gee whiz. That's like, I don't know, not quite halfway across the map, but it's a good way. Sorry about that, guys. I, I, I've got a serious frog in the old throat this morning, so hopefully I got most of that muted, but I was just, I was just, uh, getting, getting it out, trying to get it out there. It's not, it's not out though. I'm not gonna lie. It is, it's still in there. It is still in there doing its thing. Um, anyway, let's go ahead down, uh, head down here, talk to Fayfar, and then I want to head up to Neuhoff. No, not Neuhoff. Sorry. Ujitz. Ujitz is the place that, cause like Neuhoff and Merhoyed have all their friggin' horses killed. So we've got to go to Ujitz is the only place that actually has a horse farm right now that we can actually buy horses from. So we need to go to Ujitz, um, and buy a horse. Um, what time of day is it? Should be, should be early. And then actually let's go to Ujitz first, buy the horse. Um, uh, hopefully we've got enough money, um, to do that with. So let's go to Ujits, buy the horse, and then we will head back down to Ratai with our new horse in tow. Okay. You hear the, uh, it seems humans were lying in wait and pounced on someone here. Uh, watch the battle. Okay. We'll watch the battle. Oh, they're, they're coming. I was going to watch the battle, but I guess we can get involved. Uh, okay. No, that's going to be, that's going to be too one-sided guys. That's going to be too one-sided. I don't know. I don't want to get involved in that. Uh, at least I don't think so. Yeah, that's like... That's going to be, I think, that's going to be like three cumins. I don't know. Do we want to get involved in that? I don't know. We can give it a try. Let's help this guy. That doesn't even, hold on. They, now they're all fighting me? Are they, are they serious? Why are they all fighting me now? Like the cu the humans and the other guys are fighting me. That doesn't make any sense. In in my estimation, guys, that is that's broken. Is that all you've got? That's broken. Okay, hold on a second. Food. Oh shoot, I can't drink my um. As far as I'm concerned, that's broken. It'll be all over with you, Tabo. <laughs> I <laughs> you call that combat? That's a going to enjoy this. That's a buggy mess. That's a buggy mess, guys. Come here, Lily Liver. Okay, we've got one of them now. <laughs> We've got one of them. That's that's stupid. We're not we're not gonna get involved in that anymore. That was that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the bandits and the humans are like, drop what you were doing. Drop what we're doing and attack that guy. Okay, guys. Uh, I mean, I I um. I, I, I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but ooh, okay, man, this guy actually had some pretty decent stuff. Um, but, uh, I don't remember it being this, like, I don't know, for lack of a better word, just, um, I don't, I don't know, uh, oh wait, he, I, I didn't get his sword. The fear not. Let's see what this thing is. I don't even remember that. Um, the fear not. Eh, not that great. Okay, move to horse. Move that to horse. And then anything we're not wearing, move it to the horse. 
we're just gonna see what what all he can carry because we are trying to we need to cash up because we're gonna buy basically the most expensive horse we can possibly uh, afford um, let me go ahead and put this helmet on because we're going back into battle here well okay no we're not gonna get on the horse because I don't know if these guys are gonna have despawned because we did kind of run a, a good, good good bit away here that was ridiculous guys that was ridiculous is it um it's 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 the stuff like that that what does this guy got he's got the piercer and uh he must have killed the other guy but he despawned um i don't know i'm not gonna just loot these other bodies because i don't feel like we we earned any of them um but that was that was that's stupid that was stupid I think some of these uh, encounters on the road, I don't remember them being all jacked up like that um, when, when I played. But that being said, I mean, I, I didn't play, you know, through the game or anything. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing it wrong, guys, but I think that that's, that's kind of silly. I mean, yeah, they are, they are bandits. They're, so bandits are supposed to attack us, and, the, um, and of course, the humans are. So, I mean, I, I guess both of them... In terms of their AI, both of their priorities are set to player, I guess. <laughs> but in, in terms of how that played out, that was just kind of silly. Like, <laughs> that's not. We're we're gonna put our differences aside, guys. I know we were all we were all killing each other here, uh, but let's go and let's go ahead and attack this guy uh, who just arrived, and uh, and. Um, you know, take him down. Uh, let's go see if the uh, merchant here has any money. And if he does, then we can we can offload we can offload this uh, this dude's stuff. I'll check to see if he's got money first. God save you, good night. Um, good luck to you. he has. Oh, he's got a bunch of money. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. Wait, how do you get... Whoops. I forgot how to get to the horse's inventory. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me get that. 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 Uh, that. That. There we go. Oh, we should probably use our kits there to repair. Let's see if he's got any kits. Um, but we'll sell this stuff first. Fear not. Hungarian saber. Robber baron's sword. And then... Everything that we're not wearing goes. Get rid of it. Eight hundred ninety-one bucks. Um, let's have a look and see if he's got anything. Um, he's got a cobbler's kit. Uh, we don't need that, but we could get the blacksmith's kit and the um, tailor's kits. Um, and do a little bit of uh, repairing. Okay. Let's go to the basket and simply close the deal on this. Won't, I won't bother haggling. Okay. And then let's check out our kits. Okay. Our hauberk is too low for us to repair, but I will top all this other stuff up. And then let's go to our tailor's kit. Just trying to keep our, um, there we go. Just trying to keep our skills up, guys. I mean, I think the better we get at it, then the lower, the lower we can repair stuff. Uh, so that's going to be, that's going to be good. Now we actually did, um, I think we gained a, um, a sword skill point, didn't we? So we can go check that out. Ooh, we gained a main level. Can we get the next... 
Oh, we already have first aid three. Oh, so we we could have we could have looked at that guy's wound. We're 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 good to go in that regard. Um. Uh, let's see. Can I don't really want the minus two strength. I don't like most of the these uh plus two agility. A brute, an insomniac. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like we. I don't feel like we have to sleep too much. I mean, uh, uh, and if we did, then we would just be up at night. I think that would be good for like a thief, you know, if you really wanted to be up at night. But you know, that's not really something. Ooh, more strength. Uh, mule three. That would be nice. Heavy swing. Your attacks cause greater damage, but cost more stamina. You know, guys, I'm actually kind of um, inclined to grab this. I kind of, I kind of like that. Because when you hit, you're going to hit more or hit harder. And let's grab Mule too, because uh, it's going to let us actually carry some stuff on top of our armor. What is stronghold blocking an opponent strikes with your shield? Oh yeah, we don't use a shield. Um, uh, dreadful. That one would be kind of nice. Let's grab this one and hopefully we'll still get more um, more abilities. Light armor, we're definitely not getting that. Your attacks will demand 30% less stamina, but will also cause slightly less injury. Oh, uh, we don't even use stuff like that. So honestly, most of these don't even really apply to us. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, after beating your first opponent, the power of your attacks will increase for a while, and your stamina will. Ooh, that's that's pretty neat too. That would help for um, when we're in battle with like multiple people. I think I like that one. I think I'm gonna grab it. blood rush okay um warfare what do we got here rusty edge the more damage your sword the greater chance of poisoning your opponent uh the more you're wounded the stronger your attacks when you draw an opponent's blood it gives you plus one strength bonus Each blow in an uninterrupted chain will hurt your opponent more than the previous one. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I need to get better at uh, chaining strikes, guys. I never can do that. Um, I kind of like the, the sadist one out of these makes, I think, the most sense. And we do have another sword one. Um... Yeah, there's another um, another longsword one. The Durchlaufen. Run through. Pommel strike. Follow. Following a feint from your right, you run through the opponent's defense and strike him with the pommel of the sword. The technique is often used when passing into a clinch. Uh, that one's nice because it opens with a stab, which I, honestly I think is one of the easiest um, hits to make. And you know, I think that uh, I think that the um, the first hit is the most crucial. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, we've got several of these now. Um, anyway. Drinking, we got an, uh, we got another drinking one. Oh, I thought I picked one of these. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, beer bibber. Why not? Although we get more wine, we get more wine. But we're we're one of the common folk. Let's get beer bibber, uh, beer bibber, and I'm not really uh, too concerned about. Ooh, we get maintenance, seven mile boots. Freshly laundered clothes. We never freshly launder our clothes. I probably should. Uh, if you are wearing boots, you repaired yourself. Well, I don't really have 
boots even so that doesn't really even apply to us so anyway let's move over i know this one's going a little bit longer than usual but i do want to go grab that horse guys it's just because we're, we're just taking care of some we're just taking care of business and working overtime taking care of business i know where that horse farm is yeah. i know where it is But since I haven't played in a while, just want to make sure that we will get our money's worth here. Got to pay the bills, guys. Got to pay the bills. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay, where, where I, I do... Okay, I thought I knew where this place was. It's like it's over here somewhere. There's a horse. That's a strong indication that we're on the right track. Okay. Pebbles. Okay. Farewell. You've 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 been you know a horse. Okay, so how do we buy a freaking horse? Head groom. God give, save you. Give me a horse. I'd like to buy a horse. I'd like to buy a horse. Well, no. Have you seen our steeds? Uh, no. Not yet. Man, go and have a look in the stables. So you know what you're buying. Good luck to you. Um, okay, so... In the stables? Or out on the farm? Because it doesn't look like there are any horses in here. Okay, so we've got to look out here. There's a horse. Pegasus. Inspect horse. Okay, literally twice the speed of Pebbles. A good bit more carrying capacity, a lot more courage, and a lot more stamina. So Pegasus, pretty good. Uh, Hata, ha, uh, Hata, tit, oh my goodness, guys, Hata Titla or whatever. A uh, good bit more of that. A good bit more um, capacity. I think more capacity than even the other one. I kind of wish I could compare all of these side by side. I got to be honest. Um, but it's not, uh, that's not the case. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty nice. Rosinante. Rosinante. Um, that is, um, uh, most, uh, I've been watching that, um, oh shoot, I just forgot. The Expanse on, um, on, uh, um, Amazon. And, uh, that's what that's from. So, ooh, ooh, less capacity. No, thank you. No, thank you. Sorry, Rosinante. Sorry, that's all I need to see. I want more more capacity. And we've at least got two horses that offer that. Uh, that's just a horse. Uh, Kanthaka. Kanthaka. Um, we get more um, more speed for sure here. Just a little bit more capacity. Guys, and I gotta be honest, I'm not too concerned about this speed. So basically I want probably mostly capacity. Um, what do we got over here? That's just a horse. That's just a horse. Oh, Slipnir. Uh, 39 speed, 260 capacity. I think that's the highest capacity, isn't it? Courage is pretty good. Stamina is pretty good. Was, was any of the other ones 260? Was this one 260? 180 capacity. 180 capacity. Uh, I think that the, I think that. Yeah. Yeah, we want, we want Slipnir. I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. Slipnir. <laughs> we want him here. Okay. Yes, I've looked at the horses. I'd like to buy a horse. Who knows how much he wants to charge oh, for that guy. Have you seen our steeds? Probably like 50 million. I have. Fine animals. Nothing but the best here. Is there one in particular you fancy? Oh, tier five. So yeah, they've got, well, both of those are tier five, but uh, that's the one I want. Strong and swift. And there's none as brave. He'd carry you to hell if you wanted. Um, oh, wait. Uh, what about a trade-in? 
surely you'll knock something off the price if I trade in my old one. Um, let's haggle. Okay, so let's knock. Let's see if we can get. So if it's twenty three hundred bucks, we want to knock off about. I don't know about two hundred. Let's just knock off about two hundred. So let's go down to about uh something something like this. Some something around this area, and make an offer. Is this enough? Come now, just a little more, and we have a deal. Oh, okay. He's 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 gonna be fine with this, Done. I think. There we go, guys. Nice. Okay, so now we've got our ho our horse, uh, and then do we just go up to here, and we can put our we can put all of our stuff. Ooh, uh, do we want? Do we? Ooh, we can probably get we can probably get a better bridle and a better saddle here. Let's do that too. So now that we've got a nice horse, uh, let's trade. Oh, we can buy that too. Let's buy that. And let's buy... Uh, why can't I not... What's wrong with this stuff? A fine saddle with saddlebags. A hunter saddle with saddlebags. What's the difference? This has four saddlebags. Uh, a little... A lighter one allows for carrying heavier, heavier loads. I don't, I don't quite understand what the difference is here, but the fine saddles are more expensive, but they have fewer saddlebags. Huh, guys, that's interesting. That is interesting. Also, I don't think I can afford everything I want here. Um... Let's get the, um, oh, a noble bridle. Golly, okay, we definitely can't afford that. Um, but we can get a knight's bridle and a, I guess we'll just get the f uh, fine saddlebags. And then we'll sell. Oh, it's still on our horse. Or is it? Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to knock uh, that much off of it. So... We can get rid of the horse. Whoops. We can get rid of the horse riding. And we could probably knock that much off of that, but we probably need to have a little bit of money, guys, don't we? <sighs> okay, let's knock the bridle off. We can just go without a bridle, and we'll buy the saddlebags. So let's go here. How do we... Okay. Guys, what's going on here? In... Let's... What what is going on here? Move this to horse. Okay. Now go to horse's inventory. So the horse has a 312 uh, carrying capacity. So if I equip this, it goes to 362. If I equip this, it goes to 452. So that's obviously better. So let's move that to inventory and then we'll equip this and I don't really know what that's going what that does. The speed goes down and courage goes down with the plain bridle. Oof. Eesh, guys. <laughs> not not good. Not good. Not good. Um so maybe we do need a bridle. Okay, so let's move that to our inventory too. Um, let's buy, let's talk some trade here. Okay, so let's sell our, what is that stuff? Okay, let's sell this and we will um, buy, um, I've got, I've got, 
958. So we can buy the Knight's Bridle. Let's buy the Knight's Bridle. Um, okay, hold on a second. Um, oh, no, we have 753. So we might be able to knock off about 80 bucks from this. That's what I want to do. I think we can, I think we can get him down. So I'm going to offer him 700 and then see if we can, uh, close this. And then we'll be, we'll be broke as a joke. Uh, actually I might be able to, I might be able to offer him something here that we don't need. Oh yeah. Let's offer him this. Um, yeah, you know, you want that dude. You know you want that. Okay, now let's offer him some money here. So let's... Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so... Okay, let's get him down to something like this. Since it's you. That's not enough. Oh, dude, screw you. And the horse you rode in on. All right, so... <laughs> okay guys we managed to get ourselves a horse upgrade and a good one at that oh look at him up there he's got our gear on so let's go ahead and go into our inventory armor and we've got to move this to our horse then we whoops then we go to our horse inventory and then okay so that's going to it does it lowers his speed it lowers his speed, but it um, but it increases his courage. Right? So it's interesting. I don't know, guys, if that's even worth it. Whatever. That's what we're doing. We're putting a bridle on him, guys. So anyway, guys, we've got ourselves. Uh, uh, I mean, that's what our money's for, guys, is for buying us upgrades. But anyway, we've got enough money if we need to, like, stop in a tavern or something like that and, uh, and uh, hang out. But uh, but anyway, we are now we're officially totally broke. We got fifty bucks. We're in the poor house. We're in the poor house now. Oh, I could sell that shield as well. We don't need it. We do not need it. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, I was gonna go talk to uh, what's his name in uh, Retai, but I think we'll we'll save that one for the next episode because that's obviously just gonna launch us into uh, the next part of this. He's gonna give us another, uh, he's gonna give us another task uh, to find out. Hey, you know, hey, these people, this is this is how they're doing it uh, based on based on this uh, information, and he's gonna send us. I'm assuming he's gonna send us over here into this into these clouds, which is which is uh, Sasau. Right, because uh, we haven't we haven't been over here, we haven't been over there, we've been everywhere else, we've been everywhere, man. Um, so yeah, he's gonna he's gonna send us somewhere and uh, say, hey, that's how they're doing it. Go uh, go get go get it done, dude. Go get it done, and uh, that's what we do. We get things done. We get things done. We're just crushing it. We're crushing it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is that is it for this one. So as always, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we are going to be picking up right here next time.